She worked to help homeless moms and children only to be murdered while driving home from the shelter. It happened Sunday in southwest Atlanta where homicide investigators found Beverly Jenkins' car and lifeless body. Well, tonight, hundreds gathered to remember her work to serve others. Uh, Fox News' Jacqueline Schultz joins us live now from Atlanta Police Headquarters where homicide investigators are urgently working to solve this crime. Jacqueline? Yeah, at this point, we have no motive for why someone would shoot this mother and grandmother, Beverly Jenkins, in the head. Tonight, investigators do say they are feverishly working round the clock to find the killer behind this brutal and senseless murder. The residents were very moved and heartbroken over the loss of Beverly. 49-year-old Beverly Jenkins was a mother of five and grandmother of four. At the City of Refuge, she worked daily to serve hundreds of homeless women and children. Police say early Sunday morning as she drove from work towards home, someone shot and killed her. We want whoever did this to be brought to justice so that somebody else doesn't have to experience this. Pastor Bruce Steele of City of Refuge tells me word of Beverly's murder has shaken her fellow workers and the families she helped. She and her daughter both worked here and served the families who need help at the facility off Joseph E. Boone. You got somebody good that gets off work at midnight, headed home two miles away, doesn't even make it home until their life's taken. Family members tell me off camera they are reeling from shock and grief. Pastor Bruce says Beverly got off work around midnight Sunday, left, came back to retrieve something, and police tell Fox 5 she finally headed towards her southwest Atlanta home two and a half miles away. Around 1230 at the corner of Westview and Hopkins Street, emergency crews found Beverly in her green Honda Odyssey shot in the head. Homicide investigators have not released a motive or said where the gunshot came from, though investigators say it is not connected to another murder that happened three weeks ago, a mile away. August 3rd, just after midnight, 33-year-old Rodrigo Castillo was found on the MLK exit off I-20, shot in the head by possibly someone on the freeway. The motive and killer still unknown. We hope they come to justice soon so that there are no other families that have to experience this.